Sometimes you just need that extra pizzazz for your social media. You know what I'm talking about, those posts where you just really wanna drive it home to your audience. Maybe you just launched a new product, maybe you're trying to share tips and tricks in your niche, or maybe you're just trying to share an inspirational quote in your own style and branding. And hey, I know there's a lot of other great social media templates and platforms to do this, but I think the best one and easiest one to use is Kittle. So let me show you exactly what I'm talking about and how easy it is to make those social media graphics that will help you stand out. And by the way, if you don't know what Kittle is, that's our design tool that works right in your browser and you can get started for free using the link down in the description. So check that out and then let's get to the tutorial. All right, in Kittle, we already have a tab specifically dedicated to social media templates. When I click this, you can see here all of these amazing social media templates pop up. You can see some holiday ones are up at the top because creators, our designers have been uh, making a lot. But here are here is one for example, a new collection that is out. Here is another one right here uh, that says Autumn Sale, which is about apparel. So I think we're gonna go for something like that. We're gonna go for some sort of sale, like a percent off. Let's look at this one right here. I really like how there's a color on top and then there's a picture on the bottom. So I think we're gonna take some of those motifs as well. There's just so many here that you could click into and easily edit. But what we're gonna do is hit new project right here and start from scratch. So if I go to the settings here, we already have a standard square board, but if I go down here to the load more and I click that, I can click on Instagram post. So we're gonna work on specifically an Instagram post size here. Then we're gonna go over here and add some text. You can easily add text. You can hit the T button by the way to quickly add text is a little shortcut. And we're gonna go for flash sale. So we're making a flash sale post. We have some things that are in stock that need to be uh, gone. We need to offer this sale to people. And so I'm going to go through, pick a nice sans serif font, something really easy to read. But then for the shop now, we're creating an ad here. Um, we are going to give it that nice serif look, um, kind of something more uh, uh, boutique-like. Um, but let's make it stand out just a little bit more by framing it in this little button. We're going to make this kind of faux button. Um, and then we're going to take the fill out and give it a border again making it look like that button style Which is super easy to do here. So right now we're making everything the same color We're making it all black right here and it's super easy to align everything the way you need it So we're gonna go with 20 25 percent off selected items. I'm gonna get make it that same sort of uh, font style in that uh, in that serif style and then over here in the photos tab what I'm going to do is type in fashion. Now, of course, if you're making your own post, you probably have your own uh, photography. But what we're going to do is look for a colorful piece here. I really like these two options here. So um, we have a yellow and a blue, two very vibrant. It actually kind of looks cool like that. But let's delete one of these and let's go with this one. I really like this image, really high quality. Uh, all of the images from Unsplash integrated with Kittle are going to be super high res for you if you do decide to use one of them for your social media posts or anything else. I really like the way that this one uh, is framed here, is posed. Let's send it to the back. And now we have a little bit of an issue with the photo coming over into where the text is. But we're just going to add a little block here because we're going to do something cool with the color. So now if I just move this basic block over here, I'm going to expand it to where I think it's enough to house that text. And then if I use the eyedropper tool, I can select a color here, maybe the darker yellow or even the lighter yellow. And now I have uh, the, these two sides, this one side that's specifically for text. And I can change my font style. I can change my font color if I need to. And then I have the other side that is the image. And now below here, I can change in the project colors. I can make that a little bit brighter so that it meshes well with the rest of the uh, photo, with the dress photo there. And now what I'm going to do is just make a little bit of a of a logo here, a little bit of, you know, kiddleware, maybe something like that. Now, of course, you could put your own logo down here at the bottom uh, just to get, fill a little bit of space. And obviously, you want your things to be branded. And so now there's your ad completely done. But now here's a cool thing. Let's say you wanted to do a whole series of ads on different pieces. Well, let's, let's add this one right here. It's a completely different vibe. I get it. Um, but once we delete this picture, now all we have to do is select our background text right here, click in and use the eyedropper tool and let's grab one of those purples and then boom, look at that. Now we have uh, a cohesive 
flash sale ad here really really easy to do uh, once you have this kind of template in place it's really easy to exchange now you can download easily png jpeg whatever you need hit optimize quality and here are our two ads you can see them here side by side, completely done in Kittle, super easily and ready to go. Now, if you wanna see other tutorials using Kittle, I have these videos here on my right that I know you're gonna enjoy. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel so you don't miss any upcoming videos and features and things like that. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you in the next video.